Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you say? What you want to learn today? I want to know why things happen and how and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? Hmm, what's up with the sky? You think I could fly? The world is spinning and I want to know why. I got a lot of questions and big ideas. I'm Sid, the science Uh, oh, boy. <sighs> oh, hi there. <laughs> I have a riddle for you. Guess what has watery eye and goes... Ah, <laughs> The answer is me. Yup, because I can't stop sneezing. <laughs> ah, uh, See? But why am I sneezing so much? Did I eat something really hot, or smell something funny, or do I have a cold? Hmm, no, no, and no. Well, hey, maybe I'm sneezing because of something outside. Hmm, oh, Dad cut the grass. Well, half of it anyway. <laughs> Looks good. So, just a normal day at home, except for the... <laughs> I can't stop sneezing. Ah, where are all these sneezes coming from? Uh, I just gotta know. Why am I sneezing? Sid, breakfast time. I'm... <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. I was gonna say I've been sneezing all morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I wonder if you have an allergy like Dad has. An what? Oh, Sid, uh, I have an allergy to something called pollen. See, pollen are these teeny tiny powder-like particles that flowers and trees make. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, that's why I sneeze so much when I mow the grass. You know, today, I sneeze so much, I only had time to mow half the lawn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad usually wears a face mask to help keep out the pollen while he cuts the lawn. Yeah, but I ran out of them. But don't worry, I'll be okay. <laughs> hey, lawn, I'll be mowing the rest of you after work. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to investigate more about this sneezing and allergy stuff. I know the perfect person to explain allergies to you and your friends. <gasps> it's Grandma. She's a nurse, a and it's Grandma's day to come in and read to my class. Ooh, maybe she can talk to us about allergies. While you eat breakfast, I'll check with Teacher Susie to see if it's okay. Yay! Yay! Grandma's coming to school, <laughs> yeah! I love my mom. My mom is cool. Uh -huh. But now it's time for having fun in school. Yeah! <laughs> Hi. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. There's Gabriella. about everything. That's you!
Now it's time for news you can use with me, Sid. Hey, Gerald. Yeah? Count to ten and meet me at the slide. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Gabriella, May, count to ten and meet me at the slide. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. One, two. Where's, Where's Sid? Sid? <gasps> At you. <laughs> Hi. Sid, why are you sneezing? Well, May, that is the big question we'll try to answer on the new game show. Guess why I'm sneezing? Yay! Sneezing because you smelled something funny or spicy? Mm, nope, no funny smells at all. Sid, do you have a cold? Mm, well, I thought I might, but nope, I don't. Hmm. Well, my guess is that sneezing is Sid's new way of saying hello, like this. Achoo! Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny, Gerald, but it's not why I'm sneezing. I'm sneezing because I might have something called Oh, an allergy! What's an allergy? Oh, um, good question. I know an allergy makes you sneeze and makes your eyes water, but I'm um, not sure what it is. Everybody, rug time! <gasps> yes! Hey, that's Teacher Susie. It's rug time. Pretending to be Sid. <laughs> yeah, you know, Teacher Susie, I have been sneezing a lot this morning, and my eyes are really watery. And my mom said I may have an allergy. It doesn't feel so good. Oh, I'm sorry about your sneezing and watery eyes, Sid, but you're also lucky today. Huh? Well, we all are. We have an expert visiting us today, someone who knows a lot about allergies. <gasps> Anyone know who that expert is? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Sneezers and friends. The expert visiting today is a nurse and allergy expert who wears big glasses. She's my grandma. Hello, everybody. Hi, Susie. Oh, hi, Susie. Hi, hi Grandma. grandma. So I heard there's been some sneezing going on. We were hoping you could explain what an allergy is. Oh, of course. Well, sometimes our bodies can react pretty strongly to something we touch or smell or breathe in or eat. And that's an allergy. Yeah, but why am I sneezing? It's possible your body is reacting to something it doesn't like, and it's sneezing. That's called an allergic reaction. An allergic reaction is your body saying, Oh, get that away from me! Shoo! Get out of here! <laughs> Sometimes you can even just touch something and get an allergic reaction. Like Mushu, my cat! My uncle sneezes when he touches Mushu, and then sometimes he gets all itchy. Oh, that's not fun. Sounds like he should visit a doctor. <laughs> um, um, Sid's grandma, I have a question. Yes? Um, can people have allergies to food? Oh, they sure can, Gerald. Oh, uh, Sid's, Sid's grandma, how about strawberries? Because, cause see, I get these red bumps on my arms when I eat strawberries, and, well, sometimes I feel yucky and itchy. And my mommy won't let me eat them anymore. Yes, Gerald, you do have an allergy to strawberries. Your parents let me know, so I make sure you never eat them here at school. It's okay, Gerald. Just don't eat the strawberries and you'll be fine. Well, yeah, but, but strawberries are so yummy and well, I'm sad I can't eat them. Gerald, I'm glad you told us about the strawberries. You should never feel bad for having an allergy. Okay. Then maybe someone else you know has an allergy, too. You just gotta ask. Well, kids, it's time for me to leave. Thank you so much for letting me come in and share your time with you. You're so smart and, and just, oh, wonderful. Bye-bye <laughs> now, everybody. Thanks for all the great information. 
You know, Sid's grandma gave me an idea. Oh. I think we should do a special investigation about allergies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's all go to the... Super Bad Lab! Grab your journal, let's go! Super Fab Lab, we're going to do a survey. Oh. For our survey, we're going to ask each other, do you know anyone with an allergy? Then we'll make a big chart to show your data. Okay, scientists, let's start the allergy survey. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a scientist, you can try this too. Let's do a survey. Who knows somebody with an allergy? Oh, your sister is allergic to cats. They make her sneeze. And you are also allergic to cats. They make your nose itchy. You have a friend who is allergic to flowers. They make his eyes water. And your dad is allergic to dog fur. It makes his skin itchy. Who else can we ask for our survey? Oh, let's ask another teacher. Do you have any allergies? Oh, you're allergic to flowers, peanuts, strawberries, and hay. Next, draw a picture of the person with the allergy. Then draw a picture of what they're allergic to. A cat, a dog, a flower, peanuts, strawberries. Now it's time to make a chart. You are allergic to cats. Your dad is allergic to dogs. Your sister is allergic to cats. Your friend is allergic to flowers. And remember the teacher you asked? Let's add her to our chart. She's allergic to flowers, peanuts, strawberries, and hay. Wow, this chart is a great way to compare and contrast all the allergies from our survey. Scientists, this chart looks fantastic! Thank, Thank you, Susie! Why don't each of you take a turn to tell us about what you discovered? Okay! okay. Yeah. Right. Sid, why don't you start? Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, May told me that her grandma is allergic to dogs. Yeah. Because the fur makes her go... Uh, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go next. I interviewed teacher Susie. Wow. She is allergic to shellfish. That means fish that have shells on the outside. Oh. Ah. Okay, uh, my turn. Well, Gabriella told me that her aunt Ursula is allergic to eggs. And then, um, okay, teacher Susie has a sister named Mariana and she can't wear wool sweaters because, well, they make her all itchy and sneezy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I interviewed Sid. His dad is allergic to grass and pollen. And then Gerald told me about how he's allergic to strawberries. Yep. <laughs> wow, you guys did a great job with this survey. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gerald, do you have a question? Um, no. I just wanted to say that well, I don't feel so bad about having an allergy because now I know that so many other people have allergies too. Oh, Gerald, we have a big surprise for you. Close your eyes yeah. and uh, no peeking. Yeah, yeah, surprise! Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, my eyes are closed. One, two, three. Open your eyes. <gasps> awesome! <laughs> That's so cool. We can hang it in our class so everyone will know it's a no strawberry class. <laughs> if you can't eat strawberries, then we won't eat them here at school. Wow, thanks guys. You're my best friends ever. <laughs> You're, You're welcome. welcome. Okay, allergy experts, it's time for you to play with all your new ideas. Yay! <laughs> Let's play a game called Who's Behind? I can find you. I'll just listen for your sneeze. <laughs> okay, somebody give me a clue. <laughs> I know who that is. Behind. 
behind the diamond, it's Gerald! No, it was me. I was pretending to be Gerald. <laughs> Good one, May. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready to guess where Sid is. I like Mr. Fluffles. Thank you. That's May, behind the circle, right? <laughs> nope, I tricked you, Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to be tricked this time. Where are you, Sid? Achoo! There you are, Sid. Ah, uh, you found me. <laughs> Bless you, you, Sid. Sid. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now that's Sneezy. <laughs> I'll be the mommy, and Sid can be the baby. Mm, I don't really feel like being the baby. Um, How about if I be the daddy and you be the baby? Okay, fine with me. So, Daddy Sid and Mommy May are taking <laughs> baby me, a talking baby, <laughs> to see Dr. Gerald, the allergy doctor. Cool. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, hello. Our baby Gabriella cannot stop sneezing. Could you help uh, her, doctor? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, I can. Dr. Gerald is here to help. Yesterday, I touched my pet dog, and then I sneezed a lot. Ah, uh, yes, yes, say no more. I know the problem. You don't like dogs. No way! I love my dog. He even sleeps on my pillow and gets his fur all over it. And then I sneeze. Ah-ha! I have figured out the problem. You have a case of a pillow schmillowitis, so just, uh, you know, stay away from pillows. Um, uh, are you sure, Doctor? Yes, I am. I am a doctor. Doctor, I think you could be wrong. If Gabriella is around her dog so much and sneezes and sleeps on the pillow with the dog fur and sneezes, I think she has an allergy to dogs. An allergy? I eh, never heard of the word. Now, if you'll pardon me, I feel like wearing my cowboy hat. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, oh, oh no. This always happens when I wear my cowboy hat. Oh, oh. <laughs> you always sneeze when you wear your cowboy hat? Yep, every time. Achoo! <laughs> Because you, you have, have an, an allergy, allergy to, to cowboy hats. hats. Are you sure? I mean, it doesn't seem like... <laughs> and now, achoo! It's time, achoo, for Susie. Achoo! To sing, achoo! Go, Susie! Thank you. <laughs> well, my sneezing scientists have learned about so many different kinds of allergies today. But you know, sometimes it's not so easy to figure out exactly what makes people huh, ha-choo sneeze. <laughs> so here's a song about an allergy detective. Let's see if you can help her solve the mystery. Okay. <laughs>
allergy detectives, it's time to go home. Let's look for allergies as we head out the door. Come on! Okay. Yeah. Ooh, allergies. Okie doke, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Backseat driving with Grandma. <laughs> oh, Sid, I just loved visiting your class today. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. You taught us so much about the different kinds of allergies. Well, that's my job. I just hope that none of your friends or you ever let any allergy hold you back from doing what you want to do. Yeah. No siree. <laughs> Say, here's a story for you. Ooh. There's an amazing person named Jackie Joyner Kersey who has really bad allergies, but she's a great athlete. And even though she has to take special medicine, she never let her allergies stop her from competing in sports. Jackie always had a lot of allergies, but she still played volleyball and basketball and was a really fast runner. I mean, really fast. Jackie ran in four different Olympic games and won six medals. And Jackie didn't let some allergies hold her back. She outran them all. <laughs> wow. Jackie Joyner Kersey's amazing. You bet. Hmm. Dad should hear that story so he won't let grass and pollen stop him. Hmm. Hey, maybe there's a way we can help Dad. <gasps> Wait, there is. There is? Yeah, Grandma, can you stop at the store to buy more face masks for Dad? Okie dokie, Sid. That's a great idea. <laughs> Next stop, the store. Yay, <laughs> the store. Hooray! <laughs> Something cool, something cool today. I know it upside down and inside out. I learned all about <laughs> allergies. <laughs> It was so great to have nurse expert Grandma at school today. <laughs> Grandma taught us so much about all different allergies. Oh, thanks, Sid. It yeah. was a lot of fun. It sure was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Dad. Yes, Sid? I have a special surprise just for you. Oh, I love surprises. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ta-da! <laughs> hey, it's a mask. Oh, thanks, Siddo. <laughs> thanks, Bob. You're welcome. <laughs> sure, Dad. <laughs> I hope it helps your allergy and keeps that nasty pollen away from your nose when you mm. cut the grass. Well, there's one way to find out. I'm going outside to mow that lawn. Yay! <laughs> okay, let's see if the mask works. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, there's Dad. Oh! <laughs> Not sneezing! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh! Using the lawnmower and still not sneezing. The mask works! That's yeah. great! It works! It really works! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much I learned about allergies. And now I know why my dad sneezes when he breathes in pollen. He's allergic to it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to get rid of all the things we breathe in that give us allergies? Hmm. Wait. Maybe there is. Okay, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper. Big idea. I'm going to invent the super duper allergy vacuum machine. That's right. It's a special machine that can suck up all the things that give you allergies and make you sneeze. Does dust make you sneeze? No problem. Just turn on the super duper vacuum machine and it will get rid of dust where you didn't even know you had dust. Ta-da! No more dust. How about pillow feathers? Did it make you go, but you? Well, just turn off the machine. And see you later, feathers. And how about animals? Do all your pets have fur that make you sneeze? Not anymore. Goodbye, fur. Now you won't make anyone sneeze. And it's all thanks to the Super Duper Allergy Vacuum. And that's my Super Duper Uber Spooper big idea. Yay! Ooh, bam. <laughs> ah, hey, if you have an allergy, I hope you don't sneeze too much. And be sure to help any friend who also has an allergy. Hmm, okay, 
Right now, I'm gonna take a deep breath and try not to sneeze. Here it goes. Ah, no sneeze yet. Still no sneeze. Ah, ah. Hey, I am Sid the not sneezing right now, science kid. <laughs> Remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. See you later, scientists. <laughs> Be sure to check out another episode of Sid the Science Kid. We'll discover how to take care of a pet, learn why our bodies need sleep, explore life cycles, and investigate allergies. There's lots to discover about living things on Sid the Science Kid. There's lots more science fun to explore online at pbskids.org.